Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to send spoofed emails. By this I mean you can change the sender's email address so it appears it came from someone else. Just a brief disclaimer before we get started, I do not support nor condone any illegal activities. This is just for educational purposes. Okay, now that we have gotten that out of the way, all you will need is a server. In this example, I will be using a Ubuntu VPS, which I got from my Onos. The first step may or may not be applicable depending on your server provider. We must make sure that port 25 is unblocked. This is the default port for simple mail transfer protocol. Many hosting providers will block port 25 by default to prevent spam, but this is an easy fix. Just contact your hosting provider and request that they unblock outbound SMTP traffic on port 25 for your server. Alright, now we must install a few packages. I'll have them listed on the screen. Next we must open port 25. This is the standard port used by the SMTP protocol for sending emails. And next let's reconfigure the postfix installation. For this part, choose Internet Site, then here enter your domain, and this part's optional, but you can enter your email connected to the domain right here. Now press Enter, press No. Press enter for now. And then just for the example, I'm just going to use their default. Press enter. Choose IPv4. And that's all for this part. Now we'll be making some modifications to the postfix config. So scroll down to the bottom. I've added comments for what must be edited and what must be added to make it a little bit more clear. Make sure the relay restrictions match what is shown on screen. Also make sure that your host name is set to your actual domain associated with the server. Same with my destination. Make sure relay host is set to nothing. And where it says my networks, after 128, add your server's IP followed by slash 32. The slash 32 just means it refers to a single specific IP. And after you modify those existing lines, it's time to add the Milter settings. They are displayed under the add these section. Now you can exit and save, and then restart postfix.
Next, we'll be creating a new directory to store the open DKIM key. Right here, we are actually generating the key. Make sure to replace your own domain where it has mine. So this is the key, this is pretty important. Now you should open up your DNS settings, add a new record, make sure it's a TXT record. Set the host name to mail domain key. And then follow along for the value. Then press save. Next, we'll be editing our existing TXT mail record. Add IP4 colon followed by your server's IP address, just as I did. And we'll be adding one more TXT record. Set the host name as underscore DMARC. Follow along for the value. Make sure to replace my email with yours. Here we'll be making changes to the open DKIM config. 
comment out this line if it isn't already. And then add these four lines to the config. Make sure to replace domain with your own domain. Now exit and save, and now we will be restarting postfix and open DKIM. Now we're going to be checking port 8891. It should look like this. Now that we've done all that, it's time to actually send some emails. So type send mail, and then the email you want to send it to. Here you type in the email this is coming from, so this is the name, and then the email itself. Now once again, type in the recipient email. Here you enter the subject. And here is the body of the email. When you're ready to send, press period and then press enter. Then here's a command to make sure it's not still in the queue. Now it's time to check my inbox. I have noticed that a lot of these emails end up in the spam folder by default, but there is a way to fix that. As you can see, it came from support at wellsfargo.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe and comment any questions or issues that you run into, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.